Right then, when it comes to wire and plugs, it's the same thing. And your, your wire, wire cutters, depending on how confident you are, I'll just make a little nick on both sides, and then pull like that. But there again, I've been doing it for years, so I'm used to it. And just twist the cable in your fingers. And hopefully you get a nice twist in the cable. You need to stand upright so you can see what you're doing. Once again, clean tip on the soldering iron, just put it on there and just run it up and down a few times. And that's got the solder nicely all wrapped around. Don't worry about it being too long because the heat will always melt it back a bit. Then cut it to the length you need. Check it up against the socket for whichever pin it's got to go in and you're looking. You don't want too much bare wire at the other end. And once again, solder it on any one at random here. Let's see if I get a bit more like that, perhaps you'll be able to see. Soldering iron on, just for a short while, just a little bit of solder run into there. That's fine. And this is where everyone says you need three hands, but you don't. If you hold it far enough back, you can hold hold the, the uh, whatever you're soldering down with that finger, between your forefinger and your thumb, hold on to whatever you're soldering, line it up nicely, put it in, bit of heat, there we go. That's it, soldered on. Simple. Nice, neat, strong joint with no bits of wire flying all over the place. Easy as that. So where's the trouble soldering, eh?